What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome back to Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. In today's video, as you guys can see, I have finally hit level 30, which unlocks a brand new campaign chapter, the city chapter. Now real quick, before we continue, I continue to see this question pop up, so let's tackle it one more time. Yes, in this game, once you unlock a brand new chapter, you can't enter that chapter unless you have at least one tune of that type. So for example, my city chapter is still grayed out until I have at least one city tune to fully unlock this chapter now I know that sounds like a hard gate and it really to be honest it sounds a lot worse than it really is because after a couple of days you will eventually get a city tune out of one of these will spins or you'll be able to buy a city tune out of the shop here using in-game currency so it's more like a it's trying to slow you down it's trying to test your resolve all right it wants you to go inside the shop and buy one of these offers so you can quickly get inside the city and there's nothing wrong with that if you got it in the immortal world of Lil Wayne, it ain't tricking if you got it. So if you do wanna just bypass the waiting and just buy yourself some city tunes, you can. But if not, all you have to do is wait a couple of days, spin the wheel or buy it with in-game currency, and eventually you will get a city tune. In the meantime, just farm other stages. There's, there's really no rush to be honest. So that is that. So, with all that being said, you know what FG is gonna do? I'm grabbing Joe Monday. Joe Monday is actually one of my favorite versions of Daffy Duck because a lot of the characters in this game, they dress up as different characters. They're wearing cowboy hats and Santa, Santa Claus beards and all that type of stuff, but they still act like the same character. They're still pretty much Bugs Bunny in a Santa outfit. However, Joe Monday is the one of the rare exceptions. He's not the only exception, but he is one of the rare exceptions. When, when Daffy Duck is Joe Monday, he has a totally different demeanor he talks different he's smoking cigarettes he's solving mysteries Joe Monday is one of by far my favorite versions of Daffy Duck so I am gonna be grabbing this city pack luckily I do have a Google Play discount uh, code that I need to use as well before it expires so that's gonna take the edge off just a little bit don't be like FG or Lil Wayne all right just play the game naturally or hey whatever do do you I, I'm not gonna tell you what to do all right so let's see what we get in this city pack so we're gonna get 400 fragments of Leopold and 400 and 10 of Joe Monday. We're going to get 10 golden tickets, so that'll bring us up to 15. I'm going to open up all of this stuff in this video. Um, so superior traffic lights, which are just basically materials to tune up your tunes, along with defen uh, defender and attacker boosters, EXP and gold. So a ton of stuff in the city pack. All right, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Monday, Leopold, all kinds of goodies are unlocked. So let's go ahead and collect all of these things. And uh, I want to, oh, I got to shut up. Hold on, hold on. Yes, indeed. And of course, let's also get Joe Monday. Very, very awesome. Very happy to have these characters. And unlike other games, Marvel Strike Force, um, once you get a brand new character, it's rather easy to actually take advantage of all of your stars and level them up immediately. So there you go. Joe Monday's all leveled up here. I'm also going to give him a bunch of this as well. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, FG, hold on, wait. <laughs> I feel like I can min-max this a little better. Just a little better, hold on. Wait a minute, we're doing this wrong. Here we go. There we go. Cheap FG in the house. <laughs> Joe Monday, level 30. Um, I don't know anything about his kit just yet. I'm, I'm the type of person, you guys might know this from other videos, I like to be surprised. I don't really look ahead at events very often. Um, I don't really like to look at kits in the, f like, I just like to just get the character and then learn about them and kind of be surprised as they go along. So I'm just gonna just run through tuning up this character as much as I possibly can. Um, do keep in mind that the, the city pack gives you quite a few materials in order to kind of help speed this along. There we go, we'll see where it stops us. Right now we're blue. And there goes the traffic signs right there which allow us to continue to level up a little bit more. So we're now we're light blue, tune up number 11. And then, oh, yep, still can keep going. There goes some of the attacker boosters right there. Still able to continue leveling up. Tune up 15. 
I wish I could have waited for like an actual contest to really take advantage of this. I mean, there is a contest going on right now, but it's not super lucrative. Um, so there he is, Joe Monday in the house. My strongest character, four star. Now, of course, we have to get Leopold up as well. We cannot leave you behind. Once again, one of the beauties of this game, you can actually level up a character quite easily. And this character is 100% ready to go. You don't have to wait months before your character is actually usable in this game. All right. Yeah, we go. Perfect. Same exact thing. Let's kind of speed through this. And it looks like um, Leopold is a defender type. Very interesting. All right. Cannot wait to see these two guys in action. And of course, as always, we will slow down the combat just a little bit so we can kind of enjoy the animations at hand. And then I think what I'll also do, since they're so powerful, um, some of the early city stages should be pretty easy, I would assume. So I think if we can um, if we can help it, we'll just bring in two characters to kind of really see what these two characters are all about. And then still can keep going. And that's about where you'll be able... No, a little bit more. And that's where it'll basically stop, but I'll be able to get this uh, traffic light very easily. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, right off the bat, if you buy this uh, city pack, they'll probably be your most powerful characters, as you guys can see. So let's jump into combat and see what they are all about. Um, campaign over here to the city chapter. And let us get it on. So these two, good power, should be able to pull this off. Attack anyway. <laughs> all right. Turn it down times two is probably good enough so let's start it off here taking a look at some of his passives so witty um this tune is immune to all negative status effects wow okay joe monday that's actually legit oh look at this this is the wb frog in the background very nice um causes defense down on hit for two turns okay very nice um call for help whenever an ally with taunt is attacked this tune gains 10 percent turn meter Wow, very, very nice. Especially, maybe you can kind of pair him with a character that uh, starts the match off with Taunt, like Foghorn, Leghorn, or something like that. Um, find the Culprit. This tune gains 20% counter chance. Um, here's his number one, which does a ton of damage to one enemy. Then his number two, which starts off in a two-turn cooldown, hits five times for a total of 198 damage. This attack will always crit. Very nice. So we'll go ahead and take out enemy uh, Joe Monday over here. So here's Leopold right here. This tune has 16% more health. And um, while taunting, this tune has 15% more defense, respect one. Um, his number one deals damage and also removes 25% turn meter from the enemy. His number two here, deal damage to the target and convert three positive effects from it and three negative effects from this tune. So basically, he takes away three positive effects from an enemy and he takes away three negative effects from himself, I believe. Um, his number three is Takeover. This tune gains taunt and defense up for two turns and still all positive effects from the target. Very nice. And then his, his last ability, Grand Finale, which is on a one-turn cooldown before the match starts, um, deals damage to the target and uh, basically a big AoE there, but it does more damage on the focus target. So very nice. Let's go ahead and do his taunt. Very, very cool. Get a little turn meter there on Daffy, and he is ready to go. There that is. Go ahead and drop the, the piano on your head. <laughs> Very good. And here goes uh, Daffy's, or Joe Monday, excuse me. Very nice. <laughs> With the old school mobster gun there. I like it. I like it. All right, let's keep on going. We got a few more abilities to test out with these two characters. I wonder, I should still be fine. I can still just bring two characters. We'll fine. We're good. We're good. Wow, that was a lot. Oh, look at this. We have like a um, chauffeur, Porky. <laughs> All right, we can put this on times two speed here. All right, so let's try to convert some of these positive effects, even though Leopold doesn't have any uh, negative effects on him. Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. All right, so it takes away the positive and makes it negative. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Go ahead and take you out of here. See you later, buddy. And then last but not least, grand finale. <laughs> very good sound effects to go along with it. Very, very nice. Grab some anvils there. Not anvils. Uh, like construction pieces of some sort. What, what is this thing called? A cinder block? What is this? Steel beam. Never mind. <laughs> JK, JK. Still can keep going, though. There goes that um waiter version of Elmer Fudd there as well. 
And there goes Naked Hector, not wearing any clothes. And then once again, we'll go ahead and try this ability one more time. Convert three positive effects from it and then three negative effects from this tune. So it still converts three positive effects from it and three negative effects from this tune. So it's still, if he had negative effects, it still would work. Gotcha. GG with a nice counter there. Go ahead and drop an anvil on Elmer. And then what ability have we not used? Takeover? Yeah, we already did Takeover. We're, I think we've done everything. So basically what you can do here, since this will be my focus target with Hector, do the most damage to him and also do some proxy damage to Elmer. Very good. And then hit you with the Gatling gun. <laughs> Very cool. All right, so that will do it, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Another look. And some new characters here inside Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. I'm going to keep on going through these story chapters to kind of see more. Is there any characters that we really kind of want to see that we haven't seen before? Not really. We've kind of seen all these characters here. Nothing else going on. And then, of course, we have to beat this to see what else is going on. There's a, another Witch Hazel there. There goes Friar Porky. Um, but nothing. Oh, look at this. Like a um, Princess Bride Sylvester <laughs> the Cat. <laughs> Very cool. Um, who else have we not seen? There goes King Bugs, who I still don't have, who I really, really want. Um, some version of Elmer Fudd. There goes um, Rapunzel, I think, Bugs Bunny right there. <laughs> Very cool. I don't want to spoil any more of this. I'm done. I don't want to look at any more of this. This is cool. Um, so that will do it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Once again, this was another look at Lu Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. I forgot. I'm supposed to be doing summons in this video. Hold on. We're doing summons. Or should we wait? Should we wait and do these summons a little later? I think we're going to wait. We're going to wait and do the summons in another video. So that way we can actually get um, some some benefits from a contest. I got I got a lot of spins on my Mega Wheel. I'm going to wait until there's another contest that I can actually benefit from. Um, this contest that we're currently in right now is a give me. It's a giveaway. Most people are going to get the, the max milestone rewards, which will give you like a blue ticket and a golden ticket and things of that nature. So very, very easy contest to get all the milestone rewards. Um, really, the biggest draw for this contest is going to be like the top ranking stuff here. If you take a look, I'm over in tier three right here, which isn't really too much of anything. Um, but as you move up, you get a blue ticket, which is not too crazy. Three tickets, five, you know, it's not crazy. If I were you, you know, just do the contest as you casually would. But I would wait for another contest, which will actually reward you with not only these types of goodies, but in addition to uh, also getting character fragments as well. So that's what I'm going to work. Uh, that's what I'm going to wait on. I'm just going to sit on those golden tickets for a little while. Um, but that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, once again, my name is FG. Oh, look at this. Stealing crate, son of a... I can't believe this. It's time to put the new boys in action. I, I love grabbing these, though. Even though it's eight hours, I still want it. All right, time to, time to put the new boys in action. So, Leopold's a tank. Um, you're an attacker. Oh, look at, the, look at this daffy action. <laughs> look at all the daffies. I love it. This is the best. It might not be the best team in the world, but it's the best. AoE defense down. Thank you, Mass Avenger. Um, as far as I, I want to get Pork or not Porky, I like to get Peppy off the board as fast as possible. But he's still gonna be able to pull that off. Not a big deal. All right, here goes the taunt. But no one has any positive effects. You guys suck. <laughs> Fine. Go ahead and taunt anyway. He's very very powerful. Speed up, everyone. All right. Who needs a good taunting? Or uh, who needs a good dispel? Or good silence. One of those debuffs is correct, FG. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and silence you. That way you can't actually taunt. Finish you off, maybe. Not quite. Give us a heal and also purge our negative effects. I thought it did. Maybe I'm wrong. No way. All right. We're going to go ahead and focus on you and do AoE damage to everyone. Very nice. Not super strong, but it gets the job done. It gets the job done. Um, let's go ahead and see. You got two defensive downs, so let's see if we can't. Nice. Good damage there, Joe Monday. Very, very good. Finish you off, Mr. Foghorn, Leghorn, Outlaw version. Take away your, your counters. Oh, <laughs> very nice. I like Leopold. He might be. He might actually be more interesting than uh, Joe Monday. Maybe, maybe. I'm not going to say that out loud, but I, I think I just did. Anyway, so that will do it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, once again, my name is FG3000. I thank you uh, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next Looney Tunes World of Mayhem video. Don't be trying to steal my crates. I see you guys out there. There's some new boys in town now. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to come and steal my crates, even though their backups aren't going to be super great. Uh, sure, whatever, whatever. The Daffy Squad, once again. And don't forget, once you guys hit level 30, you actually have the ability to have another tune slot. So, what I'm going to do over here... Go ahead and restore whatever. Doesn't matter where you put it. Same thing here. I'm actually going to go ahead and put Leopold. Oh, don't do it, FG. Stay, stay true to your guns. Unlock a medium task there. I won't be able to actually... Ah, oh, man, I need one more. Dang it. I need more, ladies and gentlemen. I need to go ahead. All right, we're going to do that off camera. Anyway, guys, I am done. Thank you uh, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.